Mr. Man. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. That rain will make you sleep good, won't it? Mm -hmm. Made me sleep good a little too good. I might make some sausage if I turn the eye on. We're about to make some gravy biscuit bombs this morning. I had this can of biscuits left over from when I made the chicken bubble up bake thing, the pepper jack chicken one. I got two cans of biscuits because I wasn't for sure if I would need both cans, but I only needed one. So I decided with these, we'll make some gravy biscuit bombs. The plan was to make those early this morning, but yeah, I slept a little bit too late. Titus had to leave really early. He just ate some scrambled eggs and cheese before he left. Jake already left for work too. So I still have time to get these made and everything before everybody else starts school. But yeah, when the alarm went off, I heard that rain just drizzling. It was just lightly drizzling out there a little bit. And I was like, I'm just gonna lay here for about 10 more minutes. And that turned into 45 more minutes. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? I hate when I do that. I know I'm gonna be mad at myself when I do it, but it's okay. I'll forgive myself. <laughs> Y'all, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just barely opened this and then I was like, I don't need to open it yet because the biscuits, you know, I'll flatten them out when the gravy gets done. So I barely ripped it and uh, it went ahead and finished for me. I have not seen one of these do that in years. Y'all remember we talked about that a few weeks ago. Used to, you could just barely start opening it and it would pop. Now you have to bang on them and all or either try to pop it with a spoon but sometimes that doesn't even work. So then you do the counter hit. This one was old school. It knew I needed some help this morning. <laughs> supposed to stop raining later today now yesterday it rained all day long all day like off and on but all day it's supposed to stop later but then we're getting thunderstorms tonight so I, I know everybody's having like some bad weather going on right now I hope no tornadoes though yeah, I yeah we hope nobody's getting tornadoes I'm gonna give him a little bit of cereal to eat while he's waiting on the food he likes to eat right when he wakes up he hadn't always been that way, but here lately, right when he wakes up, he's ready for something to drink and eat immediately. <laughs> Sissy's that way. She can eat right when she wakes up, but Jonah and Jacob and Tyler, they're like me. They can wait a little while. Like, they actually want to wait. Most of the time, I don't eat anything until I've been up almost two hours, probably. You want some more milk or orange juice this time? Mm, more milk. Okay. So I've already got the oven preheated to 350 and we're just gonna make the gravy like we always do. And then we'll stuff these biscuits. So yesterday, since it was raining all day long, Titus was supposed to do those horses that he's doing today, yesterday. But since it was all day rain, they rescheduled for today. So about, I think it was about two or maybe two or 2.30 yesterday afternoon, we decided we would go to a few antique stores to look for some stuff to put on the back porch. The main one that I wanted to go to wasn't open. It's called Red Barn Finds. They're only open, I think, on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So we didn't get to go to that one, but there are some that are open all week around here. So we went to those. We found some pretty fun stuff. Oh look, they have a lantern, but it's also red. And it's a real one though. Unknown tool, does anybody know what this is? Oh look, they got some rocks. for this hutch. It's pretty. This whole set of pigs is just 10. Vintage glasses. $10 for all four of these. That would be good for orange juice. Raggedy Ann. A Hershey's 1934 cookbook. Oh look, they have some $2 bills in there. $10 for a $2 bill. It's a pretty chicken lamp. This is pretty, but the tag's off. I don't know how much it is. Put this 
this is what you do if you want your foot polished. Oh, it might be, Daddy. Let's see. Sorry about the mess, you guys. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. What yeah, is it, it what is. is this right here? It is a shoe shine that's box. Sh uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the old school. Uh, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, Coat how much float are they? Right there. They are $7. Folks, y'all look at that. <laughs> Oh, look at this plate back here, though. That is so pretty. It's like a Peter Rabbit plate. It is 30. We're also just gonna, y'all remember what that looked like. It's gonna stay right. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, a whatnot. That's what, okay. It's just it's whatnot. whatnot. It's a whatnot. It's only $5 whatnot, though. That one's only five. Yeah. We can put something on this, on it. What do you think? What do you want to put on it? I don't know, whatnots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Grandma and Grandpa. Mr. and me are standing in front of quilts. Blue willow plates. It's only, it's marked down to 450 because it's cracked. They're pretty. That's a clear line, but it is a line. Yeah. This is cute. Look at that. It is marked down to 75 for that milk carrier. That's just the carrier, though, not the bottles. I just hit my head on this lamp. <laughs> These are pretty. remember these right here as a matter of fact I had some Richard Petty uh, like some cards when we mm -hmm. was collecting cards when I was a kid and I remember uh, you had one of those I you remember drunk these it. I you probably drank it more than likely you, you know what I'm saying back in <laughs> I remember days, we these. couldn't only afford one of them I probably got thirsty one day and be like you know what that might be worth five dollars one day <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I could tell yeah. everybody about that buck I shot <laughs> I got one of these uh, it's the exact same design. Do y'all remember? I got it from the. Uh, what was that uh, called? Was a jockey up, lot? Yeah. What was that well, place called? Jockey lot, baby doll. It was up there, and uh, <laughs> there, there is a place called the Jockey Lot, but that was actually a. Uh, it was a flea market flea up market, in Redburn yeah. County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this. How old are these, folks? Maybe somebody out there could tell us. Yeah. How old are these right here? Is there a date on them? Let's see, no, they ain't no date on it. It's back in Andy Griffith time. Vintage water pitcher. I had one of these when I was little. I remember when these came out. <laughs> <laughs> 1920s. 1920. What is it? It's some kind of food grinder. Let's see. What does it say? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a food grinder. <laughs> table mount. You mount it on the table and grind. I bet it's for meat. Maybe grinding meat? Probably is, more than likely. Vintage wood butter press. Wooden sewing basket. You like this? Anything That's rusty? Chip put this door. Is our kitchen door walking out so you go back in time. <laughs> it's a time machine. Folks. Right, yeah. Oh, look at this. It says limes. We can, this is for our lime stand, for our lemonade oh, stand. Oh, my goodness. Our Brazilian lemonade. I mean, I'm falling into temptation. <laughs> I got to put that money behind me. Oh, look at that elephant. That's an elephant. Oh, this is an antique necklace holder. Hmm. Vintage blessings. Vintage blessings now. Buddy, here's what you need more of in your life today. It's oh, pure yeah. lard. Oh, look at this bear. Yeah.
Okay, we're gonna put flour. So once we get these in the oven, I'll take y'all out there and show y'all how Titus put everything up on the porch. It's definitely taken on the look of an old country store porch. I'm loving it. Titus was joking at one of the antique stores. They had a really old door and he was like, we should get this door and switch it from the one that goes from the kitchen to the porch now, make it that old door. And so it's like you travel back in time when you step out on the back porch. We decided not to though. We were like Barney on the Andy Griffith show about that deer for his front yard. A little bit of salt, a little more pepper. I've got this pan out over here because I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs to go with them. Are you making sausage? I sure, I'm making sausage gravy. Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah, it's good, huh? Okay, we're putting out a little bit of flour to put the biscuits on, and we're gonna flatten them out. You can use a rolling pin. I'm just gonna flatten them with my hand real quick. Now we put some of the sausage gravy in the middle. We just pinch it all closed. Now we put it on the pan with the sealed side on the bottom. Those just need to bake for about 18 to 20 minutes. We'll set a 16 minute timer and check on them. We'll start over here. First of all, this key i love this key it's my favorite color and it just looks like this really old i'm not i'm pretty positive it wasn't a real key but you know it kind of looks like the big keys on the andy griffith show that they used to lock the sale. i just love that key so we hung it right here uh this saw i told y'all about the other day titus's great uncle gave him that and that draw knife, he's had it for a long time too. I can't remember if his great uncle gave that to him too or where he got that from, but he's had it for a long time too. Up here, this is a cane pole. We got that from one of the antique stores yesterday. Pretty much everything that we got was like price range $2.99 to $6.99. A few things were more than that, like the lantern. But most of the old tools and stuff were just around that price, not expensive because, you know, I guess they're not considered extremely valuable things, but they're valuable to us because we love old stuff. Anyway, I'm not even sure what kind of saw that is, that little hand saw there. That came from the one of the antique stores. This also, Titus told me what this was for, but I forgot. And then this mallet, it's just a wooden mallet. He's got them like screwed onto the wall so they, there's no danger of them falling or anything because like this one's pretty heavy so they're stuck on there this little hammer he said this was for or like you know a lot of people would have used this for making saddles and then we got the lantern if y'all missed the other videos titus built this little shelf thing here with some leftover wood that he had and then this over here is my favorite little area this totally looks like something that would be hanging up in one of the old general stores that we go to the actual shelf thing is an old vintage painters box but when Titus saw it he was like this would be perfect to hang up to put some stuff on like a shelf so that's what we did uh, we just got this old little pot I think it was like two dollars this plate and then I picked out this ice cold tea this is an old meat grinder Titus wanted to get this old 1990 Georgia tag. And then we have this old iron. This is a planer for wood. And then Titus got this. It says the good old days. I'm not sure why they put the apostrophe on days, but they did, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but we liked it because it said the good old days. And then this stuff up here, Titus told me what this was, but I forgot. Is it some kind of oil thing? It looks like something from the Tin Man on the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and he got this old Pepsi bottle. I picked out this chicken right here. So cute. I think it was, is that a worm? There's a worm, is it a dead worm? Oh my, ch oh, I touched it. Oh, okay, sorry. I have pulled myself together. <laughs> I'm not afraid of worms, but I just didn't realize it was a worm. <laughs> then we have this little old timey looking cup thing here. And then I picked out this chicken. It's a hot plate, but I wanted to, Put it out here with the old timey stuff because it just brings some more color you know you want some splashes of color when you have all this old metal and steel and wood stuff you need some color so she's bringing that and the chicken with the worm toe little bell and that candle y'all know how titus loves his dippers he found this big dipper that is very old we got this bucket they called it a bucket now this isn't vintage this is a newer style thing but because it's you know looking like a tree and stuff y'all knew we would love that <laughs> i said it would be good to put umbrellas in as like a little umbrella holder 
we got this at first before we found that other lantern and it just you put candles in here you know this candle came with it but anyway we just put it here for now and then this little table we're thinking we'll probably paint this white when we paint the table white we'll paint this white too which i was gonna do over the past week but i never got to it because they were doing stuff all out here on the back porch and all and i helped with a lot of that stuff so we didn't end up getting to the table but when we do we'll probably paint this white and this is an old ice bucket and i think that's it and we still have some other stuff to do so it's not completely finished out here yet he still has to finish that trim up there uh, this door still needs to be finished. I just want to sit out here and look at all this old stuff and imagine who used to use it. And I think the biscuit bombs are beeping. <laughs> <laughs> 